This is Ruger LCP Max versus Glock G42 versus Sig P365 380. 380 ammo comparison video 3. Remington high terminal performance 88 grain jacketed hollow point. Velocity and accuracy comparison. We're going to be testing the Remington high terminal performance 88 grain jacketed hollow point ammunition. These bullets have the HTP jacketed hollow point which Remington says are engineered for high weight retention and double diameter expansion. Let's hit the range. numbers If we crunch the numbers, starting with the Ruger LCP Max, which is on the bottom, we had an average velocity of 854 feet per second, the highest was 889 feet per second, lowest was 810 feet per second, difference between the highest and lowest was 79 feet per second, and the average energy was 142.47 foot-pounds of energy. For the Glock G42, we had an average velocity of 901 feet per second, the highest velocity was 937 feet per second. Lowest velocity was 800 feet per second. Difference between the highest and lowest velocity was 138 feet per second. The average energy comes out to 158.59 foot-pounds of energy. It's probably drugged down quite a bit by that 800 feet per second round. For the SIG P365-380, we have an average velocity of 935 feet per second. The highest was 960 feet per second, lowest is 900 feet per second, difference between the highest and lowest is 61 feet per second, average energy comes out to 178.78 foot-pounds of energy. Now let's compare that against the Winchester white box from our first video. Now with the P365-380 using the Remington HTP you see that we got a higher average velocity as well as more foot-pounds of energy. We averaged about 50 feet per second more for each round. Now as we move down to the Glock G42 and then the Ruger LCP Max, while we did get basically similar results for the average velocity, because of the difference in the highest and lowest round, you'll see that our average energy is actually decreased. With the Remington HTP, because we have a wider uh, the extreme spread is larger, it's dropped the average velocity from 166.67 foot-pounds of energy to 158.59 foot-pounds of energy for the Glock and from 153.81 foot-pounds of energy to 142.47 foot-pounds of energy for the Ruger LCP Max. Which begs the question, is that enough velocity for hollow point expansion from the Ruger LCP Max, from the Glock G42, and even from the SIG P365-380. That's something we are going to visit in a future video where we look at the hollow point expansion. Now if we do not get hollow point expansion with results that are very, very similar to the Winchester white box, the question to then ask is, is $1.25 per round an affordable price, like the box says, compared to what we can get Winchester White Box at, which is usually quite a bit cheaper than $125 per round. Now I would say we got acceptable accuracy and velocity for what would be range target ammo, though I would say we're going to withhold judgment on the value of defense ammo until we see the results of that hollow point expansion test in a follow-up video. Well, I hope you found this video useful and you're looking forward to the next video in the series. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good day.